Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on the channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to look at a fundamental um concept in surveying, right? Good, you know, we basically use bearings and distances for our navigations. So we are going to show you how to convert from all circle bearings to quadrantal bearings. Now we have um, a we have an image here that shows the four cardinal points the north south west and east these are all directions now between the north and south we have the northeast between the south and east we have the southeast between the south and west we have the southwest and then between the north and west we have what the northwest right good so these are all directions right good and then they have different implications so if we want to explain what um, O circle bearing is it is measured clockwise from the north now this is our not if you're trying to measure with um, your old circle bearing you are going to measure clockwise from your knot down to your knot right good so if you move from knot to your east you've moved 90 degrees right then if you move from your east down to your south still coming from the north you've moved 180 still referencing to the north if you move down to your west you've moved what um 270 right good and then if you move from the north back to the north that's um 360 right good so the old circle bearing measures uh, measured clockwise from the north that's why we have the zero down to the 360 right good now when you now come to the quadrantal bearing it is now looking at each of these quadrants now the north to east is one quadrant the south to east is another quadrant the south to west is another quadrant and then the north to west is another quadrant right good so we basically have one two three four quadrants the next term um, image shows it very well we have one two three four quadrants right good so when you now say quadrantal bearing you're now saying measured from north or south towards east or west within a quadrant now we have the north we have the south we have the west we have the east right so what the quadrantal bearing does is that it is measured from the north or from the south towards your east or towards your west that's why you're going to see that on this other let's say the midpoint or the mid quadrant you're going to see north east right good so you can see north 10 degree east right good so if you come to the second part that's the second quadrant you can say south 50 degrees east if you come to this third part you can say south 40 degrees west and if you come to this fourth part you can say what not maybe 70 degrees what west right good so what they are saying is that measured from the north or south so we have the north or south towards either your east or your west right good within a quadrant so now let's look at them um, some examples the first example is in the first quadrant right good where you have um northeast right so we are using um 45 degrees the 45 degrees is what the old circle bearing and we have told you that the old circle bearing is what measured clockwise from the north so if you measure clockwise from the north down to this point you have covered 45 degrees and then if you want to convert it to your old circle bearing it is just what not 45 degrees east this first um, instance is very simple and straightforward because this 45 degrees is actually in the first quadrant and then it is bordered by what north and east right good so you can now see not 45 degrees east. so when we, the value we have here is the same thing as what the old circle bearing right good so that's why you can see that the quadrantal bearing is not the old circle bearing degrees east now let's come to the second quadrant where we have what south and east right good so if you look at it we are looking at um, 127 that we are moving from the north remember we are converting from what the old circle bearing to quadrantal bearing so if we move from the north down to this point b we have moved what 127 degrees how do we know that we have moved 127 degrees you know the first quadrant is 90 degrees right good so if the first quadrant is 90 degrees and then we have moved beyond the first quadrant which means we have moved beyond what 90 degrees so how do we now know the extent out of 90 degrees we have moved we now use this 53 as our guide you know in this quadrant again we have 90 degrees right because each of the quadrants has 90 degrees so if from south to east because we have told you that it is measured what from from north or south towards east or west within a quadrant so if we come back here and we have said that okay it is moving south 53 degrees east it means that from this point to this line 
from this line to this line is 53 degrees so what will be left here will be what 90 minus 53 so if we do 90 minus 53 what we have we have 37 right good which means the extent from the 90 degrees to our line is what um 37 so if we now add 90 to it it gives us what 127 that is 127 alternatively you can now see 180 degrees minus the old circle bearing right good that will now give you the quadrantal bearing and the quadrantal bearing is this value you've seen here so we can just see 180 minus the old circle bearing of what 127 it will now give us what the quadrantal bearing of 53 and then that's this 53 you can see here so at every point if you missed any part of the video you can always pause and rewind right good because we are trying to make it as exhaustive as possible for anybody to just understand it once and for all so that is how you move on the second quadrant where you have what south to east now let's come to the third quadrant now the third quadrant moves from what south to west right good so our old circle bearing is 240 240 means the old circle bearing rather means we are moving from the north in a clockwise direction down to this point right good and then remember that if you are trying to get the quadrantal bearing let's always go back to what we have it is said that the quadrantal bearing is measured north or south towards east or west so it's always moving from either the north or the south towards either the east or the west right good so this time around it is moving from the south towards the west and then it is moving what 60 degrees so how do we know that this 240 degrees from the old circle bearing is actually what south 60 degrees west so let's look at it you know from the old circle bearing if you move to this from north to south you've covered them um, 180 right good and then the um old circle bearing said we are moving towards um 240 right good so we have left 180 and then we have moved toward 240 so if we want to know by how much we have left 180 we are now going to subtract that 240 from 180 we are now going to subtract that 180 from 240 rather so that will now be 240 minus 180 and that will give us what 60 right good so it will now be south 60 degrees west now alternatively you can see what we have said here if the old circle bearing is um 240 that's from the north down to this our line then the quadrantal bearing will be south the old circle bearing which is what the 240 minus 180 so we have 240 minus 180 which will now return um south 60 degrees west right good now let's look at um, the fourth quadrant the fourth quadrant for the old circle bearing we have what 340 right good so it moves from this our north down to our line 340 therefore if you now want to get the quadrantal bearing it's now be what 360 minus the old circle bearing and the old circle bearing is what um 240 right good so if you now do 360 minus 340 you have about 20 right good so it's now be not 20 degrees west right good that's this not 20 degrees west right good so this is how you convert your old circle bearings to your quadrantal bearings if you have um, a sketch like this that shows you the four cardinal points and then maybe the mid cardinals which we have as northeast southeast southwest and the northwest and then you now know your old circle bearing you can now use the explanation we have here depending on the value you've gotten to know which quadrant the old circle bearing falls and then when you know the quadrant the old circle bearing falls you can now determine what the quadrantal bearing from what the old circle bearing that you've been given so these bearings sometimes they can be um, displayed in quadrantal or old circle you would use them alongside your distances maybe to get your partial coordinates or maybe your coordinates or maybe for navigation purpose right good so if you have been given in old circle you can and then you it's needed in quadrantal it's very important that you watch this video and then if it's been given in a um, quadrantal and then you definitely need it in O circle because you use the O circle bearing in your calculations right good not the quadrantal bearings most of the times if not all of the times so if it's given to you in quadrantal you can now easily convert it to what to your O circle bearings and then you know you proceed with um, the computations that um, have been provided for you right 
right good so we believe that um, we have provided exhaustive um, solution to this particular surveying problem right which is actually a fundamental surveying problem so we are going to see you on the subsequent tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a fantastic time bye